Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, we're going to show you today how to uh, light up uh, one of these R2-D2 kerosene heater things. Because uh, we call it R2-D2, it looks like that little trash can from Star Wars that walk around and boop, 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 and do all that goofy stuff. But here's what we're going to do. Uh, we've got your basic functions. You've got a fuel gauge there. You can tell this one here is uh, running pretty low. But uh, it will suffice for the purpose of this video. Um, right here is your manual shut off. Now that wick is the whole way up right now. You click this, you're gonna hear that drop down in there. That's how you turn it off. See now, this is very important. This burner adjustment here. Now don't ever have it like cockeyed up there because it'll flame out of control. Fill your house full of smoke, gonna call fire department. Gonna have to get State Farm, get a new she shed. You don't want that. Now, here is the uh, the uh, lighter mechanism, push to ignite it says. Those work for about 15 minutes and then they never work again. So don't even bother. We're gonna show you how to manually do this. You'll have a lot better results than what we're gonna do here. Just like that. Now, take this knob, turn it clear to the right. You turn that clean to the right like that. Now you're gonna reach in here, and gonna lift this up and get one of these long, uh, long extended lighters so you don't go burn yourself. Okay, see that's gonna take off there nice. Drop that back down. Make sure it's level. It's gotta be level. Now twist it around a little bit like this. Just give it a little twist. Like a, like a chubby chicker. So, get a twist, baby. And that's gonna get burning. It's gonna get burning real nice. And uh, you, you peek down through there. Can't really see it yet, but. Now you can tell that that has it has lit and it will uh, the flame will go around the cylinder and go ahead and close up your door uh, if, it, if it'll close there you go and uh, now you just wait and it will uh, proceed to the flame will come up within uh, about five minutes uh, it'll level off if you want to adjust this, sometimes they burn a little bit too, too hard, depending on uh, the wick alignment in your particular R2-D2 heater. So you can back this off just a little. And uh, now you're good to go. And it's going to get real, real toasty in your particular location. And when you're all done and ready to shut her down, now you might want to take it outside. There is... Uh, f uh, a tendency for some fumes and you want to get it outside and hit that that'll shut her down and it'll stink for a little bit but it's worth it it's worth it and this will help with your uh, natural gas bill your propane is what I run here at uh, my uh, uh, domicile and the propane bill get pretty high so I just I use kerosene to chill off the old lady she likes to be toasty warm. So there you go, y'all. Hope this helped. And uh, be safe out there. Enjoy your kerosene R2-D2 heater.